I'm good. I'm I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm in a very sweet space right now. 12 a.m. space. What is the 12 a.m. space? New era, new dawn. Everything new, everything in check. Everything? Everything <laughs> prom prom. <laughs> okay, before we get into the new new era mm. conversation, mm. so you dropped your EP, um, mm -hmm. 12 a.m. EP, and the love has been crazy, actually. How does that make you feel? I feel, I feel good. I feel special because I put in a lot of work on this project and and you're just seeing people connect and just vibing with the song. It's been a while since I dropped like my own personal songs or projects. So mm -hmm. coming back with this just makes me feel that yeah, my army is strong and cram and people make okay. me so, <laughs> I'm really happy and excited about this one. So you're feeling good? I'm you're feeling, feeling extremely happy. good. I'm happy. Like that's literally like the goal when I was making the music, just okay. to make music that everybody would connect to without me trying to explain myself every time. Did you yeah. expect this love? Did you expect the feedback? Because it's, it's it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Now this is not the first EP you dropped, of mm -hmm. course. You dropped them um, quickly, and you dropped this one. This is a lot of love. Did you expect this one? Um, for me, it was expected because I have good ears for sonics and sounds. So I've been in the game for almost two years now, mm -hmm. and I've grown as involved as an artist as you know as a human as well so mm -hmm. there's a lot of like different sounds and experiments going on with, with this ep so i'm just really happy and seeing how people react to it just i expected it but i didn't expect it to be this big like yeah you know, so, but, but you love so, it now. i'm loving it of course, of course, of course. <laughs> okay so speaking about growing and dispersing and you mm -hmm. say so you, you spoke about how um your son has grown you know and this is obviously it is we can hear it on this ep mm -hmm. now Let's go back to Crayon from Cray Cray EP. Yep. My favorite song from Cray Cray EP, if you follow me on social media, I have mean, told you before, you know the song already. I already know. <laughs> so fine. Yeah. I love, love that song. And on that EP, you were talking about love now. You were talking about how yeah. so fine, you know, making the girls feel good. Yeah. You know, like the boy loves you and everything. How did you go from Crayon from Crayon on So Fine? So Crayon is talking about backside, how he wants to get it. The EP generally, basically, this new EP, the 12 AM EP, you just transition from pow, 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 pow. Oh, that's so fine song, though. It was mm -hmm. just me painting a picture about an African girl, like, mm -hmm. you know, being a beautiful and just expressing herself without, mm -hmm. you know, any people judging her and just... On that song, I wanted people, to, all the girls and everybody listening to the song to feel special about themselves. Yeah, like you're pretty, fine girl. Yeah, yeah, just praising a fine girl. Yeah. So. It's not like a lover boy. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the song. I make music, yeah. fam. I'm an entertainer, man. Okay. That's what I'm <laughs> so you're not a lover boy. I'm not a lover hey, boy. Hey, God, crayon. <laughs> My chest. I've never been a lover boy. Like, I've, I've been that guy that, you know, loves exploring. Like, I'm a young guy. I want to explore my life. First of all, I'm scared of commitment. I can't commit to any girl right now. Because I don't want any girl to be in that space where I get to go to a show mm -hmm. and I'm performing. Then you see girls giving me asses and shit and you start feeling weird. So I don't know. So I don't want to put any girl in that, you know, in that space. So you and Rema, you guys came correct on the song. Yes, so and, correct. Um, you guys came correct on the correct. And um, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, when I heard the song, I was like, wait, wait, Crayon and Rema? You guys sounds really cool. Sound like you guys are buddies. Mm -hmm. Are you guys really friends, or you just you had to collaborate? I get that both of you are signed to Maven. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Did we, did we get Jazzy or what are you guys saying? Oh, you have remember you have to work with Crayon because both of you were signed to Maven. So you guys have a thing going on. I'm um, like we're more than friends, like like family. We blood, Actually, like, yeah, like we, we we have a relationship. Like like we we really close. Like it's my brother for life. You know. So mm. yeah, we go way back, like 2018. Um, I was in the studio when Mobile brought him to the studio, like when the first time. Him? Mobile the Prince okay. brought him to the studio the first time. I was just sitting down on the couch and I just saw him coming like into the studio with his dread, short dreads, with his red iPhone 7, it is <laughs> But gold. I'm sure there's iPhone 7 anymore. Yeah, yeah, nah, it was good, good on the race, good on the neck. He was looking too far. I was like, who is this guy? Just the like trap star. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, so Mobile was like, yo, this is Rema, this is Rema. And so we just okay. linked up. So from there, became friends like we used to make noodles together at 2 a.m. 3 a.m. in the morning. I was mm. sleep I was sleeping part time got fucked up at the same time. Like why? We, like we don't sleep now. We're, we're just recording. recording like 2018 recording, learning the whole music business, the process, everything, like everything. So 
for us we've been family from day one like from fifa we got really close obviously i played fifa together mm. used to whoop my ass then but now whooping his ass now you're bad you <laughs> you're a football yeah i'm a football fan manchester united fan oh okay you see my tweets every day on twitter manchester okay United. it's okay it's yeah. okay um so you spoke about um you and rema's relationship being a thing mm-hmm. like you know outside of the events you guys have a relationship and all of that now both of you are assigned to me events and um we were introduced and i mean we i mean the fans were introduced to you and Rema almost at the same time yeah so um i think he was on good first and it was yeah. you we were on yeah. next did at any point during your career after you dropped Cray Cray, did your relationship with Rema did did it get affected by you know stardom you know the first at, at the, the beginning like you know everybody just went to their houses like everybody don't blow everybody go he went he's moved into his own crib moved into my own crib like everybody moved into like, london everybody was just good so at, at the first point it was mm-hmm. a bit like a bit shaky Why? but we kept in place because like you know he's doing his thing and i'm doing my okay. thing like he's on the road i'm on the road like we don't talk like that but every time i call like yo he picks up and like yo bro i found out mm-hmm. you know? i understand him he understands me like i'm that oh. guy that um i'm that he's that guy that even if he hurts me i can't get mad at him like oh. uh, i don't feel best for him like my so dad wait, so you have Raymond, like, honestly, that. That was normal. what that was normal. Well, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't give you that. Why? I told you guys. I told you guys, but I can't give you that. <laughs> so, ah, it's okay. So, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. It's so, but okay. it took a correct song. We just, mm. we, knew, we knew we had to get to the studio together and make okay. one. Fans were, act- were yeah. actually asking for it. Yeah, we, 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 we've been talking about it for a while. We didn't rush. We just wanted we wanted to give you guys at the right time. You know? okay. mm-hmm. So, when it was right, we went to the studio and we just made the song really fast. Like, in 25, 45 minutes. It started, How it started, long did it take? 45 minutes, like, the entire crazy. song. Yeah, it started, it started, it, I did for God now when I said you, but you know, really know. I wear my deck, she's so close, no. So, yeah, just took it, it off from there. So, I entered. So, we came back and did this, and I came back. So, we just, it was just fun, like, basically mm-hmm. talking about our lifestyle. Like, for us, it's just about lifestyle, like, everyday life, like, on the song, like, you know, so. Did you tell that's your lifestyle? Yeah. Are you sure about it? Yeah, seriously. Okay, okay. So now, Bella Shumanatu came through on his song, like, really, really dope verse. Yeah. I know that you grew <clears> up in Ojo, and I know that Bella Shumanatu grew up in Ojo first. Yeah. Were you guys friends before music? No, Did we you guys, Were you guys neighbors and stuff? No, nah, we're not friends before music, like, because um, it is from Okoko. It's close to Lasso. I think it's close in Lasso, too. My hood is, like, 17 uh, I don't mm-hmm. take a camera and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So where is from? From Okoko to Lasso is, like, Hundred and ish, mm-hmm. so we're really close, like, but we did not, we're not friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not friends, like, so this is I not from everybody, Ojo I can't everybody from Ojo, <laughs> bro, bro, but yeah, I get yeah, that. I just grew, I grew up in Ojo, so um, when you're on random day, you just hit me up. I'm like, bro, I'm in the studio where you are. I'm like, yo, I was just coming out from a house party, I was just literally from J Bridges house party, we did a birthday party, house party, the vibe was lit. So I was just coming back in the morning, I was still, I was still too late, it's too. Uh, Mm-hmm. I just like my phone, like, yo, I'm in the studio. So I put up on him and, like, bro, linked up. And right from there, the synergy was just easy, really? great. And he's right here in the studio, like, we're here. Just by here? The, yeah. Oh. So um, after he finished with Big Game, so I took him to another studio. I was like, yo, hear this kid. And he's like, bro, this is crazy. And I was like, I have an idea. I was like, no, let's start fresh. Let's 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 go back and forth. Like, I'm like, cool. So I just, just started doing that to do my, to do that. And then mm-hmm. I said, by to this I was like, what? What? Record that shit. So he did it. Then after he left, I just finished it up. Like, then you sent him and you're like, wow. I sent him and he's like, okay, you're ready. You're ready. Let's give them. We're just to the world. He was like, telling me, like, yo, bro, we're just to the world. It's time. Let's give them. And like, I did for you 1,000. His energy is really up there. I love his energy. He's a family to me, too. Aww. Like, everybody on this project is family to me. Like, okay. Friends. Even the UK artists, yeah, too. Yeah, like, he killed his verse. He sent it back like three days after. Like, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I'm, I'm like, like I'm like, bro. If Patsy said, um, she driving like his left hand drive in Lagos. Like, man, catch you for Lagos. <laughs> left hand drive. Don't try it, though. <laughs> Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. <laughs> Don't try it. So, yeah, like, yeah. it was mad fun, like, yo. It's like you said, it's about the music for you. Like, yeah, you're very intentional yeah, about, you know, the, sound, the music yeah. and just doing doing what you love to do. Yeah. And that mm. is very evident on this body of work yep. and, you know, the collaborations. Very intentional. And you said everyone you collaborated with are people that you know and, like, your 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 friends you yeah. have a relationship with. And yeah. shout out to Ira Stan, uh, like, the dope yeah. background stuff that yeah. he did on that. I'm just like, wait, yeah. I want more. Why didn't you give us a full verse from Ira <laughs> Star Crayon? Why? Why not? Um, for that insane song, Yes. Yeah. Originally, so it was supposed to be on the track. Mm-hmm. I wrote this, I wrote the second verse like three times. I wrote Why? the first one. 
I wasn't really feeling it. I wrote the second verse. It was not still giving me that, you know, what I'm So I wanted something that would just make that complement the second verse, the okay. first verse actually. So when I was writing the third verse on the song, I was stuck somewhere. I was stuck somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I wanted, so I wanted something to just take it to another level. I walked out, out of the studio and I, I was sitting down like, I was just thinking, ah, I need something. I walked back into the studio. I was trying something, but it was not coming to me. So I walked back outside again. I saw her. I started like, oh, can you try something on this? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She just did it. And I was like, wow. It was That's crazy. Cool. And she did perfection. How many takes? <laughs> like, she's like, wait, wait, let me take that again. Like, <laughs> I, I need to get this again. right. Again. It was late, so I left it that way. So you spoke about writing that song and, you know, you got to a, a, a place where you were stuck. Yeah. Does that happen to you a lot? Yeah, How do you pull through? What keeps you going when you get to that point where you're stuck? It does, like, is coming through? For me, I, I don't force it. I've never forced my music. Like, for me, music is spiritual. Like, You've never forced your I've music? I've never forced my music. Like, okay, so when you're studio, experiencing writer's block, what do you do? I just leave, I just leave the studio. I go, I, go, I, go, I, go, I go home or I go play FIFA or I go chill out with my friends. Mm -hmm. I've, ne I've never been stressed about music because I know what I got. You've like, never been stressed about music? I've never been stressed about making... Once I'm trying to make music mm -hmm. and it's not working at that time, I, I deep. I just jack back. So saying that now, that that is something that an uh, independent artist would say, like, I'm not stressed about music. Like, you're signed to your record label. Mm -hmm. like, don't you get pressure from me even to um, churn out music that like, I'm bring them money? Because mm. this is a business, you understand? Facts. And um, you're signed to the biggest record label in Nigeria. Africa. Ah! Oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. The biggest record label, and of course it's a business, so they mm -hmm. need you to bring in money. Do you ever get that kind of pressure from Maven, taking to fucking signs that you're signed to a record label and they have some artists that are... Getting signed to Maven is like getting signed to Manchester United. Giving the number seven jersey, like the popular number seven jersey, say, yo, this is Jesse Ronaldo has won it, and Cantona mm -hmm. has won it, he wears it, he got deliver. So for me, it's just the pressure I put myself is the pressure I put, like, I want to be number one, like, that's the only pressure that exists for me. You know, my bosses have never been about like pressurizing me. They, they, they let me do my thing, make music, and just have fun with it. When it's time to put out the music, they amplify it. That's basically what it is like. It's it's more of like a partnership, thing, not not like a dictatorship oh. kind of thing. Like it's more like family. Like that's why we went through that process, like 2018, learning the whole music business, yeah. having that family OT as well. Like it's really important for us here as Maven. So for us. It's it's always been about the music and the songs, and they have a, enough experience to know how this journey. Like for example, then Jazzy, yes, he's been with the loads of talent, that are legends now that he understands and he understands music like the fully. So the process, so and everybody's journey is different. So yeah. so for me, like throughout 2020, like I won't lie, it affected my mental space at yeah. some points. The whole COVID thing, not being able to go out, and the only thing that kept me going there my my fans, like my career with fans, like. Me, I, I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Like, Aww. like, you like, I, I don't call them fans anymore. I call them family now because they're really special to me, like, like that. Like, mm -hmm. they've been going crazy for me. I see all the tweets when I drop in new music. I see all the DMs. They're always checking. They're always asking. They're always like on my P. So, for me, it's just the fans, man. The, the love from the fans has been crazy. So, I had to come back and give them something that. And you actually give us. Yeah, ah, you yeah. give us something. Yeah, that's, that's given give us. Give us. <laughs> okay, how do you relate to, you know, with your fans? What kind of conversations do you have with them? Do you talk to them? How how well do you use your social media to communicate for you? For me, for my, my fans are really special. They're, I feel like they're part of my journey. Mm -hmm. They're part of like the growth from 2019. You know, they're part of like where I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Basically, like it's like we as an army taking this culture to the apex level. Mm -hmm. So I relate to them like I'm one of them. I'm actually one of them. Like we're together in this whole army family piece. So mm -hmm. I talk to my fans like random, like I'm random, like. I don't know. I don't come for my fans, but I don't know. <laughs> that family to me, I take them really special and I talk to them like, you know, we are one, you know. And they love me for that, like like like, like it's a cult following Oh shit. <laughs> they go crazy. <laughs> Cream go crazy. I see them man. Your EP. Yeah. 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, when you drop your body of work as an mm -hmm. artist generally, mm -hmm. you always get feedback. Yeah. People say, no, I love this song. Oh my god, I love this person's album or oh god, he dropped this back then and now he has dropped this again. But yeah, you understand different type of reaction. I mean yeah. one reaction that I know that a lot of people came through with, or like a good number of people came through with it. Uh uh. Where has this boy been? You understand? I just where did you keep mm -hmm. um, this talent and everything? 
and I'm just there like waves over. Korean has been here. Mm -hmm. Like he had a crazy run in 2020. Um, back to back music, he gave us Craig Bay EP. This is not his first body of work, or this is not even, you know, this is not his first body of work. Mm -hmm. When you see those kind of things, you know, you made you made reference to the fact that you are quite active on social media. When you see mm -hmm. those kind of things, how does it make you feel? Um, you know, I'll say back like a year ago they only, honestly, they honestly does it get to you yeah it gets Don't to me lie. at some point because some songs that are like out there like 2020 there yes. are some songs that i've released and i feel like ah it's the album ah i didn't want me for a see the song see the song like so I'm, I'm wondering why so and again yeah. you, you 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 can't nobody can really narrow it down to what the you know what the world will love you know in yes. terms of making music with me i just go to the studio and just do express myself and do my thing and let god do, handle the rest so for me that's, so yeah that's that's for me so when people say that i just feel like okay mm, i don't have to take care that's cool but you know i've been working since 2017 like 2016 you know you know the full story now yeah. nice to come and drop cities you know <laughs> she doesn't like me saying that story it's fine you can say the story <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so take us back to 2017. Uh, take it back to 2017. <laughs> Could you love this story? I've always like for me like people don't know people just think I just appeared like uh that's just, just yeah I just signed at one. You no, know, I've been working like 2016. You know since since way back me was that because when they go way back we dropped mm. like seven songs in the hood like two of us no label no PR no Is publicist just us going to the studio and just dropping songs. I've been consistent from the one. In the space of like 2016 to like 2017, early 2017, I dropped like seven songs without nobody. Hmm. That shows you that okay, this guy, he knows what he do. So I've always been about the music and the sonics because I know where I can take the music to, you know, by me just believing myself and just doing what I know how to do best. So when people say things like that, I just look at them like, okay, uh, you're looking away then, but now you're looking, mm -hmm. you're looking at my side, I, I feel good. So back to the 2017 story, I'll not forget. <laughs> I was holding my breath. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So I went to drop my city in City FM. Ah. That was the first time ever, like I left my house, like 2016 by myself. I came to Agbibi by myself, like nobody, like I don't know, I don't know how, where is Agbibi. How did you get Agbibi? I, I used to listen to radio a lot. Then oh. I used to listen to radio. I have one small touch like phone. Then <laughs> I used to listen to radio, like okay, my boss your brain. Yeah. I'm the Spotify of my hood today. <laughs> I know all the songs, all the new songs. They will ask me, go ask, ask Crayon. You go know, you go know who. You, you go know, know the book, you know yeah. something, you know one life on the song. Um, that's that's me because I always want to stay updated and stuff like that. So when I came to drop my CD, she then she was an IT student. Oh God! <laughs> Intern. Oh God! She was there with that three quarter like <laughs> pants and uh, sandals. <laughs> so I came in as July and I came to drop my CD. In my brown envelope. He was known actually, as July back yeah, then. Yeah, back in the day, I was from my station in July, and like, she probably think I'm looking for a job or something. Mm -hmm. So I came out like I was at the gates. So I just smoked. I say hi. She's like, and I'm like, yo, my name is July. I want to drop my CD. I don't know. How. She's like, July. Why is your name July? I was like, I was born in the month of July. And she's like, okay, come in at the reception. Let's see what we can do. Let's play the song. She was really nice to me. That's why she's here now because. Mm. If it wasn't nice, oh, wow, I'm a really? <laughs> okay, was, but yeah, it was really nice to me. And she took the CD and she's like, okay, let me see if it sounds nice, we can see what we can do, play or something. Then she she tried to burn into the laptop and it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't but, work. Yeah, so I was so sad. I went back home, I was feeling down. But, but guess what? After, the song after, yeah, after I was the sampling song on the radio, like it was mad love. Like TTFM showed me crazy love from Aww. the world. I love them like from my heart. So that's why she's special to me. Like, oh, yeah. Okay, so now you've been here, you've been consistent since like 2016, you've been doing your thing, even pushing yourself before you got signed to me yep. and everything. Um, but the thing is, as an artist, sometimes, like you said, sometimes you put in the work, you go into the studio, you release, you, you, you know, you, you record your song, you're mm -hmm. like, oh my God, this is going to be dope, you know, and you drop it and you're like, wait, ah, <clears throat> they hear what I heard on the song yeah. and all of that. You have to deal with that yeah. and you have to also deal with the pressure of still deciding to continue to do the music. How mm -hmm. do you... How do you handle all the you know challenges that come with being an artist? You know, because sometimes you can't you can't predict how fans are going to receive your music, yeah. regardless of whatever it is you do. Mm -hmm. Does that affect you? Yeah, it does. I'm human. Like mm -hmm. back in 20, 2020, I felt like this one day, let's see, you know, see, I'm a bad boy. Like <laughs> so, so like for me, I took that energy back into myself and back into the studio because I knew mm -hmm. I knew I have to channel my energy mm -hmm. to something that I want to achieve. So I took the energy, I put, I placed myself in that mindset that look. 
if anything at all, I'm doing it for my parents. Career. I mean, I'm doing it for my mom. I want to see my mom happy and stuff like that. So, wow. so for me, I, I just went, I just went off the rocker. I just went crazy. So we, we've um, talked about the challenges that you face and how mm -hmm. you level up despite all the challenges. Mm -hmm. And I also know that you are an artist. You're a human being, like you rightly said. Yep. And you face your thing, you know, on a day-to-day, -day, um, you know, um, hustle and everything. Yeah. Do you feel your pressure differently? Or do you feel your challenges differently as a signed artist to Maven? Yeah, being signed to Maven is like being signed to Manchester United, given the number seven jersey, like I said, because too much is given, much respected, actually, mm -hmm. you know, feel me? And, I know what I can do. I know they, they saw something in me that was great that they wanted to work with. Big mm -hmm. shout out to Baby Fresh. Baby Fresh was the one that brought me out of the hood, like from the slums, from Ojo. He brought me out and said, Jazzy, young boy, bad boy. I believe say you could say. Mm -hmm. So he brought me into Jazzy. And before Baby Fresh even saw me, like all the songs I dropped in the hood, you know, were just really organic. Like there was no. I wasn't on Instagram. Okay, I was on Twitter for a while. I was just posting. Like, nobody saw me on Instagram or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It was just really organic, me dropping a song. And someone from the office, Maven office, I just vibed the song on, like, at the office. Like, it has speakers in the office. So, Fresh was like, ah, ah, who is this guy? Why is his name Korean? I want to know what, what it's about. And I like mm -hmm. his sound and the sonics as well. So, in DM me, like, yo, pull up to the studio. Pull up to the studio. It was very close. Same day. Martin. The same day. So, Ever since then, it's been, it's been amazing, it's been God. great. So, so that song, the one with Don Jazzy, when is it dropping? Right soon, soon, soon. I can't wait for to give you guys, man. I can't wait. Soon, yeah, soon, yeah, soon, yeah, soon. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited. Okay. Cool, so let's go back to the song, the two mm -hmm. correct songs, the one featuring Rema. Yeah. Do you have to explain that song? Like, you Do you want to drink? Let's drink before we start on. Okay, cool. Do you want to drink? Yup, yup, I'm ready. You ready? So, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. So, let's start from the the crayon beginning so you said uh -huh. you go carry yeah, you go carry it's uh, like a saying uh -huh. yeah, but sit bang, but it's like come to the dance floor uh-huh mm -hmm. so i would like to they give you standard carry okay. make a carry chorus so carry hook like hook of a song like the girl should she take the hook i'll take the chorus why is she taking the hook why are you taking the chorus yeah, for example she's a singer uh, she's a singer in bed she what she hit some notes in the bed she's sharp Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's taking the hook, C sharp. I'm taking the chorus. F sharp. Jesus. Wait, is that what you were saying there? Yes, sir. I, you saying I think we're referring to some god I can sing. Maybe Ira Star. Maybe you have a question, Ira Star. Are you trying to use that as an album? Like, oh, you like the girl? Like, I heard the singer. She does the hook. You do the mm. chorus. So it's not for Ira Star. And she's trying. She she sings she sharp. She hits the notes, the right notes at the right time. So what are you doing? Where she's hitting the do? Me too. I'm taking. I'm taking the chorus of the song. I'm taking it too. <laughs> Oh God, I can't it's even believe this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I yeah, hear you, Korean. Yeah. I hear you, Korean. Yeah. So you worked with Bella Shmoda. You worked with a couple of other people on you know, this EP. Mm -hmm. Who are the artists that you would love to collaborate with? Um, in Nigeria? Yes, in, around the world. Um, definitely work with Oxley. And it's my brother too. Like, it's crazy. Like I saw him tweet about the photo. It's, work, it's like, it's a real one. Um, Definitely work with um, um, obviously, I have some coming with IRS as well. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, late, late, late. We're working on that one too. Um, I love Ruga, like, because it's from Ojo too. Like, anybody that's from what's that, happening in that Ojo? Yeah, like, what's what going like, on? Anybody from that axis, to come on from that axis, if you look more for that axis, what's try, <laughs> you try, okay, you try because it's hard out there. Like, hmm. from, from that place, it's hard. Everybody knows now, it's hard from that place. You come because. Usually, like music, when you're doing music there, it's just like yeah. oh, you're doing music because I'm not in school now or what. Like, hmm. so when you come out from that place and come out to this light, it's, I, rec I, I, I don't, I don't talk with that because I know the struggle. Speaking about Ojo, yeah. how much love do you get from like um, last two students? Crazy love, like crazy, like to date because they've, 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 they've been with me before yeah. maybe or you know, before yeah. anything else. Like they've been with me from day one, like. My first first song that I dropped, they've been with me. So it's it just love is just growing every day, you know. And I'm I'm really happy about you know everybody that's coming out from that place like Poco, Bella, Ruga, mm -hmm. myself. Big shout out to Baba, to Baba, to now Joe, Baba, to <laughs> First Stack. Big shout out to Baba, South Sultan, um, Phase, a lot. So not um, like a WhatsApp group for Ojo. Yeah, not really. But it's a WhatsApp group for me on my day one. So I still talk oh. to my day one. I spoke to them last night. That's they so do like cool. FaceTime. I'm still the same person. Like they, 
so you were speaking about the artists you want to collaborate with and listen um Stefano Kapai boy as well mm-hmm. we have this piece that we're going on like we, we talk like every day Joe boy oh. as well yeah Joe boy as well we talk every day too it's crazy crazy love I got for wow. all of them as well like I also want to work with some more UK artists too mm-hmm. you know, like Steph London mm-hmm. um, you really have a something going on in the UK right yeah, you already yeah, have yeah. some I have, I have some I have some lovely fans out there okay. to show me love and okay. respect and obviously I did one want to say it's going crazy right now yes. I'm loving it definitely work with a lot of artists out there in the UK too Jules I know so Jules get one from him mm-hmm. so yeah so just spreading the culture and just spreading the world with my music and see how we can take this to that apex level and just constantly evolving and growing when you dropped your creepy ep pop of colors colors everywhere yeah. now to um 12 a.m ep it's black and white the hair mm-hmm. has changed you know you're wearing some really nice really clothes the designers are fine you're digging mm-hmm. fire what mm-hmm. happened like you know the first ep creepy creep, creep, was mm-hmm. You know, just a, a first few of crayon, like okay. it's different size of crayon. So like. you don't get that color. Uh, you, you might, you might get it back, but for me, this, for me, going from that colorful mm. um, vibe to this black mm. and white, the black and white is still color. If you look at it, yeah, actually. <laughs> so it was really intentional. Like you had to, you know, be intentional about the brand, and the, you have to tone down the colors a bit, okay. you know, so, so so it could suit the music that I'm coming with. Big shout out to my team, man. They they went hard on this one and mm-hmm. I'm really like it's showing and I'm really happy. I'm, I'm sure they're happy as well. Like I see we 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 just we're just happy like seeing the reactions where people like talk about this project and talking about like how the brand has changed and everything has you know been working. So I'm just happy, like for real. Like there's a lot of work that went into this. Like throughout 2020 we just basically work and we strategizing and everything. I'm glad we're working on now. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Okay, Korea. So going forward, as we um, going mm-hmm. forward, is this the crayon that we're always going to get, or you know, you transition from that to this? Are we going to see another transition happen? Yeah. Or this is, you know, in, in order not to make the brand boring and or my myself boring, I, I, I tend to evolve as I stay relevant in the game. You know, evolve, keep evolving, I keep evolving as a human, keep growing. You know, for example, age like you, you can't be one year old for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. You get to one, two. Mm-hmm. Three, so keep going like that so yeah so that's basically it. that's it for me keep going keep going i want to see the end of this <laughs> i want to see where you stop i want to see where you reach <laughs> so i must reach there yeah okay. so are you okay, okay. Yeah. So, but you're in your comfort zone you're happy where you are now really are you, happy. how are you feeling i feel i feel i feel blessed i feel i feel really you know excited about you know how the reception have been so far knowing that they were looking away before <laughs> and now God, crayon we've heard now. now I'm sorry see okay crayon we we have to i think at this point because i don't tire at this point it's time for us to say we are sorry crayon. <laughs> we are sorry for it's value good, because you have said that many it's we are sorry away. take us back you know? oh, no it's, it's all love it's all love it's all love are you forgiving me. us so you stop I saying that we were looking forgive, you. I forgive, I forgive you guys man so it's, what, what, it's better what, than what, ever so, okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of everyone so i'm sorry for for overlooking you and it's fine that we're all in the family i will get it crayon tanked mm-hmm, there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know he's dope but you but you too crayon i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let this go shout out to you for lying to us at the beginning and acting all lover boyish and everything i didn't like you guys but i don't know just, I, just, like, I was painting like, a picture man. Yeah. every time i'm thinking so i'm like oh my god crayon is such a cute boy i don't like to be cute I don't like like cute. It's only my mom that called me fine boy. I don't like to be called fine boy by any one girl. So, th- so that's it. You you lied to us. I didn't we, like to you guys. we told you we're you guys, cute and everything. You guys were not paying attention, you know. And we're ba- after I said sorry, we're back to this again. Uh-uh, forgive us now, but it's fine. But you yeah. know, shout out to you and shout out to your team. Like you said, you guys did the madness on this EP. Um, and like you said, this is who you are, and we need to pay attention to what you're saying. Yeah. We need to pay attention to your brand. We need to pay attention to what you were telling us. Maybe we were creating our own stories mm-hmm. because maybe you're not telling us anything. But now that you're talking to us and we, we're, we're paying attention to what you're saying, so yeah. how do you intend to continue this conversation with your fans so that we can actually get, you know, um, more insight to your person? Um, I just stay true to myself, and I just do me. I just stay true to my fans and I keep it real 100. Like, they the ones that go on Twitter and just tweet and say, yo, crayon for grammys, crayon for this, crayon mm-hmm. for that. So, seeing them do that just gives me that extra push and that extra energy to want to outdo myself to make sure I come correct, to correct, 
just ah uh, come correct ah <laughs> god crayon really <laughs> really you have to do that i have to correct i have to come to but correct but shout out to you for staying sane i definitely sure that that has not been the easiest thing to do you mm-hmm. know to mm-hmm. your challenges and everything mm-hmm. but the fact that you've been able to keep your head um up and you know be in the game and still go back whether or not you get the kind of response that you want you still went back into the studio and you came yeah. back because some people actually go through some kind of things when it comes to the music and it puts mm-hmm. them in a the headspace where they begin to doubt themselves and like you know what maybe i shouldn't do this music anymore. yeah at some point everybody doubts themselves at some mm-hmm. point like the greats everybody at some point at some point you feel like you know you I mm-hmm. felt I felt that like a couple of times last year. Like I come to the studio, trying to record, and it's not working. Like the, the scene is not just clicking for mm-hmm. me. I go back home, I feel sad. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm not working hard enough. But mm-hmm. if I look back, my my catalog is easy almost. Oh, yakpa. But to me, I want I'll put, I'll, 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 I've always wanted to be on top of my game. I want to make sure that what I did last time does not match up what I'm doing next. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Who do you talk to when you're in that headspace? When you feel like you're not doing enough? I call my friend Rema. I pick up your phone like, bro, I fun. Uh, we just start talking. I just express myself. I don't, I don't. He doesn't judge me, so I don't wow. judge him. So like, we just, so, we just. How talk. does that conversation go? Please, let's let's play one of those. No, we just we just talk like random friends, like random human. Like we just talk about random stuff and we just vibe and we just make sure that for me, I just I open up every time to him and he open up to me too. Like, like we understand each other like so well that I can call him. I start telling him stuff and he be like, bro, don't worry. We did together. Yeah, chill. Sometimes wow. he drove he drove to my house. Like he left his house, he drove to my house straight down. He was like, bro, we need to talk. Like that kind of pee. Like if you see something on my pee, that doesn't like it's, it, it hit me I'm like bro, after that thing, that picture we post. Yeah, you hear no to enter. Oh, change. Oh. Wow, like, that's if I really see if I see cool. a picture from him too, I'm like, ah, that far, bro, that's that post, that caption, you know, to that's how we roll, like. Even in the music as well, so we're really close like that. We need bonding about her, around him and doesn't judge me. So every time I'm feeling down, I just pick up my phone, I just call him up and like straight up, we just start talking. And I feel good afterwards. So, so it's pretty, that is actually yeah. really beautiful. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. How do you how do you record? How do you create? For me, making music, I just go into the studio and I just sometimes I, I take a situation with me to the studio. Sometimes somebody pisses me off at home, I just come to the studio and pour my heart and. Hmm. Channel the anger on the music and make sure that one line will, will reply you. <laughs> you will hear him. You can hear one line will reply you to uh, this thing. So yeah, so for me it's about sometimes it's the beats inspire me. Sometimes what I got going on at that moment inspired me. Sometimes I just paint a picture. Sometimes I just I just let go. I let go. I don't try to box myself. I just let go. I let my spirit be free and just express myself. Okay. So young cats you want to work with, who are the young guys in your space uh, that you see that you love what they do and you know that you love to work with? I love her, she's amazing. Besides the music, like she's she's a sweet person, she's a sweet soul. Yeah, like, when the first I time I met her, she was so cool. She's, she's like the coolest girl out there right now. She's really um, cool. I, I love her guys, we're like, because yeah. from Ojo too. So yes, Ojo is a work kind like, of thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, you know, um, <clears throat> I love Yusuf too. Yusuf come back. Crazy boy, I love that boy too. So I feel like it's going somewhere. Yes. I think so yeah, basically. And um, your song "Man Dem," you made reference to Air Force, and you're wearing and you're wearing one. Gotta stay clean, Air Force One. I mean, white always, new ones. Never met Air Force One three times, once, max twice. Wait, is that a new thing now? Because of the "Man Dem" song, is that like a crayon vibe? Yeah, you know, you have to live. You have to. I've seen it. I'm doing it. Talk on this. <laughs> so like, how many boxes do you have now? I have a lot of boxes. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Air Force Ones, brand so, new. Where's your house again? My house is in Lake Kino. Do, do you want to like, tell, give me the address? Like, yeah, yeah, I'll give you the address. Right? Can, just pull, up. Can yeah. just pull up, right? Pull up any time, man. Welcome, baby girl. I'm going for the shoes. I'm not going for anything else. I did for you. No okay, okay. Shout out to you. Shout out, Shout out to you. you. So the song with, uh, the song with Rema, mm-hmm. the two correct song. do you have a dance step, bro? Yep, I have a dance step. Really I'm a simple. very horrible dancer. Let me just say this yeah, first. It's for everybody. See, don't worry. If you don't even know how to dance. Are you sure? So you want to show me the dance? Yeah, yeah, sure. Are you sure it's easy? Easy Something break. I can do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Just give us the top right now. Really easy. Ah! You go like this. You go one. Banga. One. I did for Kona when I said you, but you don't really know. I went my dash. Nice. Oh, no. Like you're skipping. Like, okay, girl. okay. Like, like. One. Like, 
No, it's like a, it's like this. One. That's it. Whatever, I tried. 